welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a makeup tutorial for you. A couple of people have asked for that and I love makeup. So I was like, oh yay, okay, I will. But this is kind of like a daytime look that's good for the office or going to brunch or going to church or just hanging out with your girlfriend. A beachy, glowy, summery look. It's definitely like a makeup look. Like you're wearing all the different products, but it isn't so full on intense smoky eye type of thing. So I feel like you can wear it anywhere and it's appropriate. So I hope you enjoy this video and if you'd like to see how I did this little look, then keep watching. So um, I've got my little mirror next to me. So that's what I'm gonna be looking in. Lashes be crazy. Uno momento. Comb these bad boys. I love having these extensions, y'all. I've had these extensions for two and a half weeks and I feel like they still look pretty good. I really need to get, especially this eye um, filled but I just haven't made my appointment yet, so I just need to do that. I had to pin my hair back because it felt like it was just in my face. I already put my moisturizer on. I put tape on and you put it on the back of your hand to get kind of stickiness off. I go kind of like under my lower lash to where it all kind of blends and goes up. See, so put it on the back of your hand and then peel it off. Gotta make sure they're kind of more even. Ta-da! I don't love the way that this feels, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna use this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It basically just is concealer. Like I even got the color that is concealer color. I like have thin skin or something, especially around my eyes. I think that's why I have such dark circles. So I've heard. I have to be really careful with the lashes to not get this stuff in my lashes. That's the one downside is how careful you have to be, especially putting on makeup. A little bit of a bummer, because I love the creative side of makeup and like using different colors and just different products. And I feel like I can't be as creative maybe with the lashes just because I don't wanna get anything in them. And you have to be like so careful when you clean your eyes. And I'm one of those people that has to get everything off. Otherwise I like can't sleep. I feel like I'm like sticky or something. I'm just gonna set that because it's kind of still like tacky. It dries pretty dry but you don't want anything to any of your eye makeup to like get stuck to it and then when you're like brushing it like speed bumps around it and then you get those lines and it just looks choppy and not good and we don't want that i love this powder from mac it's mineralized skin finish in the shade light and it is so like finely milled it does give you a little bit of cut like color but not really this is actually the only powder i've found that hasn't made my under eyes look darker. I can't, I have not for the life of me been able to bake underneath my eyes or um, just use basically any powder under my eyes except for this because it'll instantly make it look darker. I have no idea why, but like I work so hard to get them to look light and bright underneath there and then it's darky McGee after I set it. So that's the only powder I found. Even translucent powders, I don't know what it is, but that stuff just doesn't like me apparently. I love this Morphe palette. That's the 35N. It's all matte. There's not a single shimmer in here. I like to use a lot of mattes. In high school, I only used shimmer. I don't even think I knew that there was like matte eyeshadow available. Bright purple and really intense green and like, oh gosh. I was like just known for wearing green eyeshadow. Just funny. Okay, so I'm gonna go in, um, because I've been at the lake and I'm pretty tan, I'm gonna go in with this like orangey shade, Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. Um, and I like pounce the color in there and then blend it out. And like you have a light hand, you're not like getting in there like ksh, ksh, ksh. You want it to be kind of light. And I like to get, I like to blend this area too. I feel like sometimes it gets left out. And then you can like tell that it was left out. It's like people later on in life and you think, were you left out as a child? That must be why you're acting like that. That's how I feel about this eyeshadow. Okay. Deep moments by Bridget. Blend, blend, blend. If you have to add more product, add more product and then you blend, blend, blend. And then you add more product and that's okay. I was always scared to use like warm colors on my eyes because I felt like being a blonde, light light eyes light hair i would look kind of sick because we've all seen that we've all seen where somebody's wearing like pink eyeshadow and they look like they have pink eye or like even 
Like a lot of times like reds, it just looks too much. There's a balance. The older I've gotten, the more green my eyes have become. I used to be way more blue and now they just keep getting more green. I think with each pregnancy, they turned more green, which is crazy to me, but pregnancy is just a crazy thing. You just have to kind of gauge your skin tone and what you can accomplish. Because if you have dark hair, dark eyes, you can do like a lot more. I feel like being a little bit more fair toned, sometimes you have to be careful. But to do like a warmer eye, um, I think it looks really pretty and like really summery. Okay, so I will see how long this shirt lasts. I love the look of this like off the shoulder. I think it's like so feminine and, and not like floozy, but like flouncy, you know? I don't know, does that make any sense? Anyway, so I'm gonna use this like darker orange color, which I gotta tell you, like a couple years ago, I would have been afraid of this color, but now I'm like, yes, bring it out, bring it out. So I'm putting this like kind of in the crease, kind of like right below the crease. Like I want it in the crease, but I also want it below the crease to bring some warmth down there too. And then I'm gonna bring it like kind of to the side. That outer V area. And all this is doing is just really like warming my eye up. I want it to look kind of natural, just intensified natural. <laughs> I have no viewfinder like that I can see on this camera. Y'all are just gonna get what you get. My husband's mowing outside right now, so if you hear that, well, there you go. That brush, it's like a dense, fluffy brush that's tapered, so it can get in there kind of tight, but then it also will diffuse that color. So I'm gonna go in with this, which is a little bit more round. It is a Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending. So it's a little bit, ooh, it's significantly smaller than my big one. See, this one's kind of like fat at the ends and this one's real pointed. So this is a little bit more detailed. So I'm gonna come in with this color right here that's kind of like just a true like brown. I'm gonna deepen up this crease and that little corner V area. And you see how that looks like just like abrupt and choppy and not good. <laughs> so you can put that in there and be a little bit more detailed on where you wanna like focus the color and then buff that business out. Almost always wanna have like just a diffused color unless you're doing like a real harsh cut crease, which is not really my style. I mean, I think there's definitely a place for it but in my life, I just don't typically do that. I basically have like two looks. I either look like I am going to prom and I'm like full glam all done up, or I have no makeup on. I so rarely do like a medium amount of makeup. So I'm gonna try to do like a lighter look today without just like overdoing it, but sometimes that's so hard. <laughs> Blend, 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 diffuse, diffuse, blend, 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 diffuse, diffuse. I could try a voiceover. I just feel like that'd be so much harder for me. It would probably make the video like so much shorter though. <sighs> we'll see. We shall see. Do you see this? I mean, it's cute like that too. Look at this. They put this in the worst place. They put it like right here in this part of the sleeve. How does that make any sense? It's a terrible place to put it. Is it covered? <laughs> ah. Something that I love to do is put mattes everywhere and then put shimmer just right on my lid. I realized I should really put some lip stuff on. So I love this Nivea Moisture Lip Care. It is so good. I'm always on the hunt for a really good chapstick or like lip moisturizer. I feel like I have not found very many. Like there's a million different products, but everyone I try is just kind of like meh. I don't love it. I have a really good one. Will you please list it in the comments below because I'm always on a hunt for another good one. This one is like $5, but I'll pay more if it's really, really good. <laughs> this is what I love to do with my eyes. Just like adding a little bit extra to it. I take a MAC 242 brush. Basically, it's just like a flat, flexible, synthetic brush. You can either use 
Fix Max Fix Plus. There's like a million different brands now that have stuff like this. I think even Rimmel just came out with something that's similar to this. I think it says it's a setting spray, but I don't know if you could use it for this type of thing or not. Anyway, I've had this one for ages, ages, and look at how much I've used. So I put it on the back of, I put the brush on the back of my hand and then I spray it <laughs> so that I can make sure I get every last little drop. And then I can like, you know, like dab it in there. I just feel like I get more out of it. This is MAC Nylon. Basically this is like a, it's, it's very white. It is very, very white, but it does have just a, like a hint of yellow in it. I just swirl it around in there a little bit. And you see how like white that is? It's like, bam! I am white in your face. I put that in my, on my lid from my corner to like two thirds of the way. I don't want to get that outer V area. I want to keep that dark. It's all about patting. So pat, pat, pat. Because you want to lay that color on there. And if you pat it, it's a little bit more vibrant. At this point, we want this to be kind of like bright and in your face um, to really open up that inner corner area. Then I take um, a Smashbox color, but it is like really gold, like a true gold, gold color. Um, I do it again. I put, put some Fix Plus on my hand. I dip my brush in it and I didn't even clean it off be before the, uh, in between the nylon and this because it's okay. I'm going to blend it in with this, so it's fine. Um, so I do the same thing, get some on there. And with this color, I kind of like put it on my hand first and kind of mix it and make a little concoction there. And then I'm going to put this on just the middle of my eye. It just warms it up again because it got a little frosty with that nylon. I mean, gold on the eyelid, okay. You can see that there's like kind of harsh lines where we just did that. And I don't even have any more product on my brush. I'm literally just blending. Like I said, we just don't want harsh lines. Harsh lines is like wrinkles. We don't want wrinkles, do we? Oh my gosh, y'all. I used this mask the other day at Ulta. They like had Dr. Brand just doing a promotion or something, but they put this magnetic mask on my face. <gasps> if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me Instagramming it because it was incredible. It was crazy. They put this mask on and then they take it off with a magnet and like you put the magnet underneath like a tissue and they just like wave it across your face. They don't touch your face. They just wave it across your skin and it just like sucks it up. It was crazy. I feel like that's as far as I wanna go with that. Sharp that line is. Okay, sometimes that line is like too sharp for my, for my taste. I either like rub it a little bit with my hand, my finger, or I take the brush and I kinda like lay the brush on the side of my face and do it. Little tiny precision brush, it's called a smudger. It's from Scone. I didn't actually know that that's the name of the brush. It's called Scone. And basically now I want to scone real bad. Um, this is what it looks like. And then I'm going to take a dark, dark brown, not a black, cause I don't really feel like doing black today, but I'm going to take like this dark brown, maybe even like this kind of like purpley-ish color, blend those together a little bit and kind of like pat it on the back of this. You can kind of follow that line right here from the tape. And you see how that, like, it does change the look of it, but it's not like, whoa, there's like eyeliner. It's just like a softer. And I lay it to the side so it's the most pointy side. Get in there. Okay, so see that darkens it up a little bit without being overwhelming. I'm gonna use this baby skin, which honestly I haven't used this in a little while, so hopefully I like it still. Hmm. A little bit like the Smashbox primer, which, <laughs> funny enough, isn't like my favorite. It's not that I don't like it. It's just not my favorite. Okay, this hair might have to go like all the way up. I'm getting hot now. <sighs> Okay, y'all, I have already shot two makeup videos and both of them I was like, 
no. I'm still learning about how to do like where to sit for lighting and just how to do everything. And so I shot one and I was like, disaster. And then I did another one and it was still like, okay. I went to Walmart at like 10, 30 at night or something. Again, if you if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that I did a Walmart testimonial because I had a good experience at Walmart at 10 a.m. I mean, 10 p.m. And I was like, I gotta tell people, like go to Walmart, 10 p.m., that's the time to go. Anyway, so I got some tr L'Oreal True Match in shade W6, sun beige. Like none of my normal foundations were gonna cut it. And like this one, I hope it isn't too dark. And then I take a flat top kabuki brush from Sigma. It's called the F80. And I'm probably gonna spray a little Fix Plus on there. Like just dry McGee. I'm not all that concerned about the coverage on my cheek area, like right here, because honestly, I'm gonna put concealer there. So I pounce on my T-zone. Cause sometimes I feel like if I like blend it in like this, you can like see the streak marks on my face. My skin is like ever changing. It's like once I start to figure out what to do with my skin, it decides to change on me. So I used to have more oily skin like in high school. And then it got pretty dry, like pretty dry. In my like late teens and 20s. And then in like the last maybe year, it's gotten more like normal to combination maybe. A little bit, wow y'all. Can you even, can you see this? Like, do you see what my makeup is doing right now? Ugh. It's like I have like a dead skin. I probably need to do like a really intense exfoliator for like, like three times in one week or something just to get all this dead skin off. So now this could be a real disaster, but I have never used the Tarte Shape Tape. So I went and got some because I, like I said, all my concealers were like way too light. So I'm gonna try this for the first time with y'all because that makes a lot of sense. First, first makeup tutorial, why not try something new? But it's the Shape Tape. Everybody talks about like, it is like the holy grail of makeup right now. So like, here we go. Wow, and yeah, when they say like this, this applicator is like no joke for reals. No joke for reals. And I've heard do one eye at a time because it dries so dang fast. Mmm, smells good. What does that smell like? I don't know, something good. It smells like I'm going to the spa or something. You see why like, I don't really care how much coverage I have on this cheek right here because look at what the concealer does. It takes it all anyway. So I might as well just let that concealer work. Make sure you get up in here. Like I have dark circles in my gizzle. So I've got to get up there. Get in that corner area. Yes, I do. And then I tap on my nose and go up here. I don't put a bunch of product up on my nose and everything. Like I see people do like crazy designs on their face. And I don't do that because I think it's too much. Like I've already got some left over from my beauty blender that I just think I don't need to put that much more. Okay, you can see like this side of my face and this side of my face. Right now it looks like crazy town. I like war paint on this side. But it is what it is. This applicator, I can't get over it, it's so giant. It's cracking me up. Okay, but they, they were right. I mean, it is very full coverage. It isn't as, it is not as thin, naked, um, weightless concealer. That stuff is honestly my favorite, but it is ghostly white on me right now. Cause that was like my winter color. So there ain't no way that's happening right now. I'm realizing I'm getting older because like I used to have, I have lots of facial expressions. It is what it is. If you watch my channel long enough, you will see I got some crazy facial expressions. And I got all these little like lines everywhere. And now, like when I was younger, the lines would just like go away if I didn't, wasn't making that face. But now like they stay. <laughs> I've turned 30 and I'm, I guess more aware of like all my lines and I'm like, oh no. That's why when I was at Ulta, I decided to buy some 
stuff because I was like, I need to take better care of my skin. So this wasn't meant to be like a first impressions, but I like it. But I like it. I will see how it wears today and let you know in my next video if I like it more or less than the naked one. So now I'm gonna set my eyes, my under eyes with this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light. Before I used this one, there was a NYX one that I really, really liked. And if I do, I think I'm gonna do like a full drugstore tutorial and I'm patting this, I'm not rubbing. Oh, I'm looking a little light. It'll all blend out, you know what I mean? So I'm just taking a powder brush that doesn't have any product on it. I'm just kind of like working in that stuff. Y'all, if that gets cakey right here, here's where I get cakey. Right here and in my smile lines. Cause do you see these smile lines? Hello, canyons on my face. Uh, so it breaks up real bad there. And when, when somebody says breaks up, like if you're watching a video and somebody says breaks up, it basically means that it looks almost like the foundation is like kind of flaking, like flaky and you can kind of see underneath to your skin. Um, and then if it's like cakey, that means it basically looks like, like frosting on your face, which frosting is delicious. But when it looks like it's on your face, that's gross. Um, so I get like, I break up and get cakey right here and my smile lines and sometimes on my chin because I touch my face a lot. I'm working on that. To bronze my face, I love the Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish. Oh my gosh, I could be like a product endorser for them right now. And it is like pretty, pretty tan. A Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. But you know what? You just use your brushes as you see fit. You know your face, you know your products. So use them however you want. Bronze, bronze, bronze. Everywhere that you would naturally like get bronzy, do that. Like your face shape is different than mine, chances are. I have a heart shaped face. So think like Reese Witherspoon. Scarlett Johansson kind of has that too. I'm not sure if they categorize her as that or not, but I always think that she has like a heart shaped face. I don't always use like a separate brush to do my nose. So I just like pinch my brush. I'm like, I'm kind of contouring, kind of just bronzing. Because everybody gets bronze on their nose. And then down my neck. Everything you do, go down your neck. Don't just stop right here. If I've got any young girls watching, if I could tell my high school self a few things about makeup, I would start with under eye concealer and bronzer. I think it's Estee Lauder used to have these giant things of bronzer and I it was like a body bronzer, but girls, I used that for my face. Oh, you know I did. And I was just like, pfft. my face got wet one time and it like was like dripping off and you could see like my white skin under that, all that bronzer, not cute. And then I'm gonna take that same brush and go into this, uh, yeah, it's MAC Shadester in the same areas, but target more like a contour because it's a little bit of a, like a deeper shade. It has no luminosity to it whatsoever. But I like to use that after bronzer. I like to contour after bronzer so that I can kind of see how much I need to contour, you know? Got all my little baby hairs. Oh my gosh, y'all. These baby hairs are just fighting me something strong these days. Look at this. It's just, oh, and they just, they just like stick up all the time. I'm, Peacock status all the time. And then I'm gonna take, I mean, as if I could leave this out. This Jaclyn Hill Becca highlighter is just, <laughs> girl knows what she's doing when she comes to highlighter. This is the tapered highlighter. Gold, 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 gold. And here's how you figure out your high points. You can turn your face to the side and then I can see that like right here is higher. Like I can see my chin going, my cheek going up and then where my high point is. That's where I wanna get. So everybody's high point is gonna be different. I mean, it's basically, I mean, everybody's is basically the same because it's your cheek. It's not like your high point is gonna be down here, but your face shape is gonna be different. So work with what you got. See, then I just turn my face to the side and I can see right where my high point is. Put it there, put some blush on. Now, my face is 
definitely glowy. The Jaclyn Hill. It's a little bit corally, pretty, pretty pink. A little bit corally. I don't know what the name of it is called. Pumple Mousse? Okay, I didn't know that's what it was called. It is very intense blush. And like, I can be such a blush hog. I will just like pack the blush on until I look like a stinking clown. So I like more sheer blushes because then I can just go to town and not overdo it. Oh, I like to put a little bit of blush on my nose. I feel like it just gives me like healthy glow. Underneath my eyes, I'm going to use this brush. So this brush is like an angled, kind of fluffy, dense brush. I don't know where these came from, but they're some of my favorite brushes. I'm pretty sure my sister had them and I stole them from her. Sister of the Year Award goes to Moa. Okay, so I'm gonna use that same kind of light orangey color to warm that up. The chair I'm sitting on right now, not the most ideal. Nobody's high knee is gonna say thank you after sitting in this chair. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that like true brown color and put it in just like the corner to kind of attach to the shadow liner you did earlier, halfway across your eye. I don't know that I wanna show you my brow. Because I always thought like, why do people say that? And then I started trying to film and I thought, oh, yeah, you're right. It is not that fun to do on camera. But I love this product, y'all. It's called It, it's not called It. It's It Cosmetics Brow Power. And it is awesome. I have this shade, uh, Universal Taupe, and I feel like for kind of more ashy blondes, get it. So my camera cut off. <laughs> I don't even know when. Um, so this is the final look. I put this NYX Wonder Pencil in my waterline. And then I just use this voluminous uh, carbon black mascara underneath my eyes. And then I picked up this, it's a Rimmel um, lip liner and it's called Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the color East End Snob. And I stinking love it. It's like really pink. It's actually, look at this. It's like the exact color that the packaging is. Thank you, Rimmel. Some places, some companies put a different color and then you look at the actual color of the product and it's like, that's nothing like what you showed me. But it's, it's shaped like this, so it's really angled. Love it, I put it all over my lips. <laughs> Lip liner turned lipstick, but I love it. I think it's so pretty and like pinky and cute. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe so that you can get my updated videos. And I'm gonna try to start doing one a week. We'll see how that goes. I told my husband he's on board, so he's gonna help with the kids a little bit so I can get it done. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day and I hope you found this video interesting and encouraging and that you wanna try to play with some makeup because it's so fun and it's just makeup. So if it doesn't look good, just wash it off. It's no big deal. Have fun and leave your comments below of what your favorite lip care is and even your skincare because <sighs> girl needs some new skincare for reals. So thanks so much, bye.